Okay. Uh, there were some questions about what if you've got roundwood rather than a radially cleft, more kind of rectangular piece of wood. So I'm going to start making a spoon out of this knotty bit of cherry. It's quite pretty wood, so it's probably worth having a go. Um, and I can probably fit a handle here and a bowl there if I'm lucky. So we're going to have a try at that. First job is to split it. I have the axe pointing sideways, so if it swings through it doesn't hit me. And um, my very battered old mallet. That was tricksy because there's a big fat knot right there. A side branch. I could disappear that. Okay, so with round wood, this piece in the middle here is the pith. And we can't have any of that, and preferably not any of the first couple of growth rings in the final piece. So we're going to have to lose some of that. So the bow lens here. So I might just clear that bit down the bowl end to start with. More knots, but um, yeah, we'll lose that as we go along, or I could saw a bit more off. But what I will do is take some of the side off of this little bit. Um, we could bump cut here. Possibly again. There's a big knot. Let's ignore the knot. Okay. Difficult with the knot. Get a cleaner piece of wood. Got a knot in this side as well. Probably. Alright, that went reasonable. So, oof, what I've done is lose the sides off of that and I'm getting down to my two and a half finger width and I've got flat sides now that will be the sides of the bowl eventually uh, that should disappear okay I can clear a little bit of the top here on this spoon because it's quite deep billet again That'll probably do us and then Although I've nearly lost it on this one. Um, <laughs> now I can put those corners, which if you look at my other video, you'll see these define part of the bowl. So the bowl edge is here in the end. Um, and I've got handle all the way back up here. So if you're a beginner, don't match that near the end. And uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, that I want to make sure it disappears as I carve. So if you remember what I did before, is I clear a lot of each corner going back down. So this is on the back of the handle. Okay. And then that middle bit there comes quite straightforward. And you're not having to fight a great width of wood. This piece is still going to have to disappear from here eventually. So I'll make sure that we clear all that. This is the back of the bowl. I think we're going to lose all of that uh, knotty section by the time we're done. So again, if you look at the other video where I was carving with my favourite little 
Grand Saw's axe. You can notice it's a different axe. This is one of the Robin Wood carving axes that I use when I'm teaching. Um, they're nice little axes. I do recommend them as a first axe for people. Um, oh, hang on. Not talking and concentrating properly. That'll do. Then the other, look at that big fat knot, get that knot out. The other thing we do differently when I teach to that first video is our saw stop cuts. Um, any saw will do, this happens to be quite a nice one. So having identified the narrow point, uh, we could draw it on, but I'm not going to bother. I can cut in. Carefully, you don't want to overcut. Okay, you want to be slightly short of your line, if I had a line. Probably do. And some people put two cuts, which can be helpful, but not absolutely necessary. And some people don't carve bits of wood that have got a big knot in like that, so I'll probably ignore that side. Um, I can also, uh, at the depth point of the bowl, rather than cutting that with an axe, I can put a stop cut across there. And what these do is allow you then to cut, for example, the shoulder. in there, down to that point, to the narrow point of your design. So like I did before, I generally start that with a bump, which will cleave out to the edge. And then from then, you can cut. And these ones, if you can see, I'm working with a kind of slicing cut in this way, so I'm not hitting down into the back of the bowl. Up there that is a bit into the back of the bowl okay and again um, this is eating spoon sized blank on a course we'd start off with something larger so that stop cut yeah, let's me axe down into the bowl, the bottom, the depth of the bowl. And then the tricksiest cut that we have to do is this one. It's a very slicing cut. Across the front. So they are, I've only done one side that knot's probably going to give me a problem but I hope that gives you some idea of starting off with a piece of roundwood and using a saw for stop cuts